Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this very unique raffle hat. This hat I'll be using this yarn smith create chunky yarn and I used one ball and three meters so all together as this one ball has got 150 meters I use about 153 meters so one ball and three meters from the second one also with this yarn I will be using five millimeters hook you will also need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, tape measure and a stitch marker. First we are going to start with the magic ring. Hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and go back under this one here like so and pull through the loop you had on your hook. Now you have magic ring and also chain of one. We are going to chain two more and now we have chain of three and this chain of three will count as your first double crochet. Next we need 11 crochet inside this magic ring and this chain of three is counting as our first one so we will place 10 more to have all together 11. So work your double crochet pull through two and pull through two so now you have one two all together we need 11 double crochet inside this magic ring so we have three four five and so on continue all the way around and now we should have 11 double crochet and this chain of three is counting as our first one so now let's just double check and we have 11 double crochet now we are ready to close this ring completely like so and we are ready to close this round one so we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three slip stitch like so pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook and this is your round one completed 11 double crochet inside your magic ring round two we are going to chain three again and this chain of three is counting as our first double crochet throughout this whole pattern now into the same place where is your chain of three coming from you are going to place one more double crochet and this will be our first increase when i say increase it means two double crochet into the same stitch so now we have our first increase and we will do increase in every stitch around so two double crochet into the next stitch so one double crochet here and one more into the same stitch and this is our second increase and for this round two we will work increase in every stitch around so continue placing two double crochet in each stitch around for this round two and in this round two we should have 22 stitches as we have started with 11 in the second round you will have 22 and so on so each round we will increase by 11 to finish this round two, place two double crochet in each stitch around. And I am finishing this round two and this is my last increase here. And to close this round two, you will work your slip stitch on top of this chain of three to complete it and close it like so. So in this round two, we have 22 stitches. 
For round three, we are going to chain three again, one, two, and three, and this chain of three is counting as your first double crochet. So into the same place where is your chain of three coming from, you will place one more to have our first increase for this round three. Now for this round three, we will work increase, but into the next stage, we will work only one double crochet. So we will have increase, which is two double crochet, and then into the next stage, you will have only one. And that's how you are going to work. So you will have two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around for this round three. So our first increase is done. So into the next stage, you will work only one double crochet. Into the next stage, you will work two double crochet. Into the next stage, you will work one. Into the next stage, you will work two double crochet and so on. So you will work like so for this round three, all the way around. And I am finishing this round three and I have my increase here. Into this last stitch, I will work only one double crochet. Now we are ready to close this round three. So we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three and we will chain three to get ready for the round four. In this round three, you should have 33 stitches. And now we are ready to start our round four. We already chain three, which is counting as our first double crochet. And into the same place where is your chain of three coming from, you will place one more double crochet to create our first increase. Next, you will place one double crochet into the next two stitches. So you have your first increase and then you will do one double crochet into the next, one double crochet into the next and then increase again. So you will have two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one and so on all the way around for this around four. So one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next and then increase again. So you will have two stitches here and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. So continue like so for this round four. And I am finishing this around four and I have increased here. So I will do one double crochet into the next two stitches to complete this round four. Then we will slip stitch on top of this chain of three, like so, chain three, to get ready for the next round. And in this round four, you should have 44 stitches. For round five, we already chain three, which is counting as our first double crochet. So we have our first increase here. And for this round five, you will have one double crochet into the next three stitches. So you have increase, which is two. And then into the next stitch, you will place only one. And then into the next stitch, you will place only one. And then into the next stitch, you will place only one. And then you will do your increase again. So you will have two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. And we will work like so all the way around for this round five. So my first increase is already completed. Into the next stitch, I will place one double crochet. Into the next stitch, I will place one double crochet. And into the next stitch, I will place one double crochet. And into the next stitch, I will do my increase again. As you can see, it's here. So we have two, one, one, one. Continue like so all the way around. And I am finishing this round five. I have my increase here. And now I will do one double crochet, one double crochet, and one double crochet. So I have one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then I will slip stitch on top of this chain of three to complete my round five. And this is our last round for all women's sizes. For men's sizes, you will add one more round. So the measurement for women's sizes is six and a half inches or in centimeters, we have 16 and a half centimeters. 
we are ready to start this side part of our head we are going to chain three and this chain of three is counting as our first double crochet now for the round six seven eight nine and ten so for the next five rounds you will do exactly the same what we do in this round six so we will work one double crochet in each stitch around for the next five rounds so i will show you this round six and then you will work four more after this round so all together you will do five rounds of double crochet so this chain of three is counting as our first double crochet find the next stitch and work your double crochet in every stitch around no increases just one double crochet in each stitch around for this round six and then you will do four more exactly the same so you will work one double crochet in each stitch around for five rounds all together and we will still have the same amount of the stitches as we had when we finish our last increase around which was round five so we finished with 55 stitches so for the next five rounds of double crochet you will still have 55 stitches and i am finishing here this around six and i will slip stitch on top of this chain of three to close it like so chain three and start the round seven so remember round six seven eight nine and ten will be double crochet only all the way around so one double crochet in each stitch around and i have this head completed already so just to show you we working on these rounds here so five rounds of double crochet so we have five rounds of increasing and then around six seven eight nine and ten will be just double crochet rounds so continue working like so and once you are done with these rounds then we can move to the next step and in the next step we will work on our brim and i am finishing this round 10 which was my last round of double crochet and we are going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three to complete it like so now chain one this round 11 will be single crochet around so just place your single crochet in each stitch around and you can also place a stitch marker into your very first one so once you go all the way around you know where is your start now work this single crochet around very nice and tight so single crochet in each stitch around like so for this around 11 so just double check we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rounds of double crochet and this 11 round is single crochet round so continue working on your single crochet around which is your round 11 and once you come to your stitch marker I show you what to do next and I am finishing here and I have one single crochet right here and now I'm going to take this stitch marker out and I am going to work a slip stitch into the same place where was my stitch marker like so and now I am going to chain three and this chain three is counting as our first double crochet and we are ready to start around 12 and we will work on our brim 
So for this round 12, we will work 5 double crochet in each stitch around. As this chain of 3 is counting as our first one, into the same place you will work only 4 more double crochet to have 5 double crochet all together. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through 2 and pull through 2. And before we move on, I wanted to tell you, you can do one more round of single crochet like we did in this round 11. And the reason for it, when we place 5 double crochet in each stitch around, this part will stretch a little bit. So if you want it really nice and tight around your head, you can add one more round of single crochet. But for me, as I done this round 11 single crochet really nice and tight, it won't stretch as much, but it's totally up to you. You can do one or two rounds of single crochet before we move on and work our five double crochet in each stitch around. And when we're placing so many stitches in each stitch, the stitches can stretch a little bit. So that's why we have done a round of single crochet before, so it won't stretch as much. So I am working my second stitch where I'm placing five double crochet and I'll be placing five double crochet in every stitch around like so. Now for this head I wanted my ruffle to be really nice and wavy so I am placing five double crochet. You can also place only two or three. It's totally up to you. The more double crochet you place in each stitch the more wavy your brim will get. So for example if you don't want your brim to be too wavy you will place less stitches in each stitch around. But as I wanted my ruffle to be really nice and wavy, I decided to go with five stitches in each stitch around. So it's totally up to you. You decide how wavy you want your ruffle head to be. Continue like so all the way around. Once you are at the start, I show you what to do next. So I am finishing here, so I will place my last five double crochet into this last stitch. So I want two, three, four, and the last one. And once you are done, you are going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three slip stitch like so and we are done chain three and we are ready to work on round two of our brim so for this round two we will work one double crochet on top of each double crochet so you will repeat this around two for as many rounds as you like so I will work one double crochet on top of each double crochet and then I will stop because I don't want this ruffle to be very long but it's totally up to you. You will repeat this around two of our brim for as many rounds as you like. Maybe you want three rounds, maybe you want four rounds. So just repeat this around two for as long brim as you want. So in this round one we were placing five double crochet in each stitch but in this round two of our brim we will work one double crochet in each stitch around and then you will repeat this round two for as many rounds as you like for your ruffle head. So you will continue like so in each stitch around once you're somewhere here I show you what to do next. And I am finishing here and I have my last double crochet and then you will slip stitch on top of this chain of three. So one two and into that 
third stitch, slip stitch like so, and chain one. Now, for me, two rounds of ruffle is just enough. But as I said, you can go as many rounds as you like. Simply just repeat this round two of our brim. So for the last round, you can have your last round finished with single crochet all the way around or slip stitch all the way around or crab stitch all the way around just to give your ruffle head really nice finishing touch. So you have three options. And for me, I decided to finish my ruffle head with the crab stitch. Crab stitch is reversed single crochet. So you will go backwards like this, find the stitch and bring it up like so. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and finish. Again, find the stitch, bring the loop higher, stretch it a little bit and finish it. So that's how you do your crab stitch. So continue placing your crab stitch in each stitch around for this very last round. All the way around in each stitch. Once you come somewhere here, I show you how to finish this last round. <music> And before I finish this around, I wanted to show you once you attach your yarn, because I didn't have enough one ball, I needed to add about three meters from the second one. So I have done the knot and I attached my second ball. And as I'm working on this crab stitch, I want to make sure that the knot is on the wrong side. So when you are done, you will hide these ends with your yarn needle on the wrong side of your brim. So it will be invisible. And then you will just simply finish. So I only use about three meters from the second bow. So continue. And I am finishing this last round and I have only a few stitches left here so my last crab stitch will be into the same place where I started like so and now I will turn it like this and I will go backwards and slip stitch like this cut the yarn and leave the end longer so you can hide it later on with your yarn needle on the wrong side of your brim. This is our super easy and very unique ruffle head completed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like it, share it. And of course, don't forget to find me on social medias. I am on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.